Hi guys, welcome back. And today, as you can see, the entire setup for me is completely different. I am sitting in Chennai, India today, and it's been a couple of weeks. I'm here in uh, India for a vacation. But I'm also quite excited that there are so many things happening in Chennai right now. So that every single person I have talked to and every single people whom I have met and spoke with, they are quite excited to see that AI transformation is happening in their organization and they wanted to leverage the power of AI at their work. But as that said, I'm quite excited to announce that there is going to be an event going to happen in Chennai on Jan 3rd of 2026 regarding software testing in the age of AI. So if you're around Chennai and if you really wanted to join this conference, please don't hesitate to join. There is a registration link even in the description of this video below. Please click and try to register. It is quite amazing and you can see quite a lot of big uh, community which are going to be joining to this session and there's already 50 plus registration happened and more are joining the session so i'm quite excited to see you joining pretty soon and it will be really good to see you all physically present during the particular session this is pretty much like a session that we did in new zealand and this is happening in chennai so i'm quite excited for you to join as well just quite amazing and one more thing which i really wanted to talk about is going to be regarding the playwright mcp server this is going to be a new update which I am going to talk about which is quite exciting as well. I've building for past couple of days because there has been so many traction in the player MCP server and there is also a lot of features need to be added along with the bug fixes. So I was working on it even during the vacation because I got some slot to work on and I'm just going to utilize the particular time frame more effectively. Well, as I said, I'm going to quickly show you what I'm really building in this particular MCP server as you can see over here. So uh, if you can see this particular Playwright MCP server, so if I'm just going to go and search for Playwright uh mcp server execute automation uh you can see that we are going to be landing to the github of the playwright mcp server over here and you will notice that we have got a bunch of releases for past couple of days so if you just go uh to the uh to this particular tutorial over here and if you just go to the release notes you can see that we have got a version 1.0.12 the latest version where we have got an automatic browser installation this is one of the thing which is missing because you can see that every time while you try to use the playwright mcp server you need to install the playwright browser setup now you don't really have to do it because it's the browser installation is going to be taken care for you automatically so that is the first improvement that we have did which is amazing so there's going to be a smart browser detections and things and there is also going to be an improved or enhanced api authentication support so you can just pass your bearer token and then you can ask the uh, the api test to happen so you can do all of them for get, post, put, and patch, and delete API endpoints. It's amazing. And then you, there is also a Playwright Resize uh, tool which has been added where you can use it for doing a device testing like iPhone 13, iPad, or Mac OS, uh, or even Windows machines and different resolutions and orientations. You can do all sort of testing from there. That's what is the device emulation for Playwright Resize. And the last and the most important update uh, for this particular discussion is going to be the, uh, the HTTP and SSE transport mode support. So this is something very very important i really wanted to show you a demonstration of how this is going to be useful now you can run this whole playwright mcp server in a standalone mode and you can use it as well so if you are uh, like me who is using windows machine or mac operating system you just have to go and open your terminal and you see that on the documentation over here we have mentioned like how you can install it if you can just go to the http sse transportation mode menu there you can see how you can install doing as well so you can just copy this particular command npx Azure Automation slash Playwright MCP server uh, hyphen hyphen port 8931. So if you just do that over here and if you hit enter, this is going to install the latest Playwright MCP server for you. It is not something that we were doing before, but now you can even run the MCP server in a standalone mode, which is quite amazing. And once you install it over here, you can see that all the dependencies and everything is going to be installed for you as a standalone package, which doesn't happen uh, during like before this particular release you you always need to depend on the cloud desktop for doing that but now because there are there are cases where you can also run this in http mode like a standalone mode and you can configure that with vs code and also with many different um, uh, many different uh, ides you can use it as well this is also helpful while you're running in the wsl configurations 
So this is the Visual Studio Code that I have got, and because the uh, the uh, MCP server is now running in the standalone mode, as you can see over here, it is also showing you like the SSCP, the SSE streams, the messages, health check, and all those things. You just have to use this particular configuration and make sure the type is equal to HTTP, which means it's a HTTP type. The default type of the, the MCP server is STDIO or, or studio, whatever you call it. Uh, but now this is the HTTP, which means you can interact with the MCP server using the HTTP protocol as well. Uh, and once it is there, you just have to go to the Visual Studio code over here and just do control shift uh, P uh, to open this particular uh, toggle. And then just go and say add server and see that we have, we, we always use the command as the studio, but now we're gonna use the HTTP. This is new this we have never done that before and over here I'm just gonna give the URL which is going to be uh, localhost colon and the port number is um, I think it's 8931 that I have given so 8931 you can just use any custom port number as well doesn't matter so I'm just gonna give that and I'm gonna give that as playwright um, MCP uh, HTTP whatever this is the name that I'm gonna give over here and the moment I give it you see that now we have got an MCP server for the player been configured uh, and if I'm gonna just do a, a restart over here uh, oh, sorry I, I also forgot one more thing make sure that the URL has got slash MCP as well like pretty much like how I have done over here I should have just copy pasted it instead of you know just typing it over there and now if I'm gonna do this restart you see that the player MCP server is gonna be up and running I'm sorry you just have to type HTTP colon double slash localhost 8931 slash MCP which is where the communication is going to happen like how I have mentioned over here so this is the MCP URL that you have to worry about and once you configure it then you just have to uh, you can just interact with the MCP server pretty much like how you do with a cloud desktop so all you have to do it is just go to the chat over here uh, and then you're gonna say navigate to uh, http colon uh, double slash ea app dot sami dot com and perform uh, login by clicking uh, login link and enter uh, username as uh, admin and password as password uh, to login and if I'm gonna hit enter, you will notice that now this guy is gonna communicate with this MCP server uh, for us over here. Uh, and then it is going to perform all the operation. You see that now it's gonna invoke that. And if I'm gonna do an allow, usually what happens is this is gonna throw you an error saying that the playwright executable is not there. But now there is going to be an automatic installation is going to happen as well, which is quite amazing because now it is going to work uh, side by side along with the cloud desktop for you and see that now it is downloading the Chrome uh, uh, Chrome download or the exe file for you automatically and then it is going to install it for you. This is something like an addition that you really have. All right, you can see that the, the installation is fully done right now for all the browsers. So now if you see that if I write, write resume the execution that the, the working is going to happen like now you see that now everything is working for you automatically. And you can also see that behind the seal on the console, uh, you can uh, you can see that the, the operation is going to happen for you. So let's say I'm going to allow it over here. You, you can also see uh, things are going to work for you behind the scene. Uh, just give me a second. They're all just working. There we go. Uh, and you can also try to grab the information from the uh, from the MCP for us over here, or you can also see a health check uh, in the meantime. So if I'm gonna go and click this particular link uh, over here, you see that there is gonna be a health check coming up for you over here. Uh, and you can also uh, get all the messages as well based on a specific session ID as well. So those things you can verify. And these things are all happening because it's all uh, working uh, in a HTTP mode for you. I know there is a lot of noise and echo happening in this video. I'm really sorry about that, but because this house is not built for me to do a recording, but at least you, you see that I'm talking and you can listen or hear me what I'm talking about. So well, that is something which I really wanted to talk about. This is a quite exciting update. And I've also made some more updates uh, in the player MCP server, which you need to uh, see, which is gonna be the device type um, as well. So you can work with multiple device types. All you have to say is navigate to the site and test it on iPhone 13 or like a Google pixel and then also switch to iPad while you try to do the testing you can also do all sort of navigation operations and the resize operation those things are going to be kicking in for you as well automatically which is quite amazing well as that said 
Uh, this is quite exciting time, guys. I'm going to be keep on talking about some of these features uh, on the MCP server. And at the same time, I'm also going to be quite excited to meet you all uh, physically on Jan 3rd of 2026 in Chennai. Uh, and I have got the link of the registration below. Please try to register and see you all soon. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one. And if you are in Chennai or India round, just come and say hi. I'm living in Chennai. Just send me a message. I'll be there for you. Once again, thank you so much. Talk to you soon.